Right, so the poem is called uh, The Sweetie Three. It belongs to a, a, a suite of poems called The Green Girl Suite, uh, which will uh, make sense uh, in, in a bit. The Sweetie Three. Green girl, I need to talk to you tonight. My needs are disproportionate, and the hour is getting late. The urge was smaller when there was time enough to need. When sky cloud woman opened up her midnight thighs to a city bottoming above the endland sea, and the berry brown girl who touched her hips to mine down in that Matanzas tidal marsh night, or the chorus of girls whose faces rose to pond's black surface who called on me to follow them through, down into their depths. <sighs> then the white wave swell that carried the Cypriot girl to spend herself in the foam at my feet. Life sent unmistakable. Yes, and the indigo river sky and mother night holding me close, sucked me, who said in her smile, Yes, my darling son, yes. It might have all been the stuff of loose visions. I must have figured too loosely I was elected. December's frost can be on the leaf and never touch the root. April's insistent sex can carve across an old man's bones when memories are not yet born, not yet with flesh. Now the rat <laughs> is in this tenement's wall, scrapes out the script, spells down the death of an older lover's open soul. Hmm. I suppose it is possible all visions are lies, all poets cowards, and mystics promoting false contracts. I remember a Rosicrucian adept, a criminal by profession, my uncle, who said, Sometimes, my boy, dreams tell the untruth. And I remember the day he had his say in a Denny's restaurant. Afterwards, down at the marina, he was fitting out the Sweetie Three for one last Caribbean drug deal. White Ibis, in low, close flight, touched her talon to his head. So, you see, green girl, my need to talk to you tonight is essential. But I won't call, and you won't call, like when the need was simple. Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? That's just how it goes. <laughs>